butter, white sugar, brown sugar, one whole egg and a egg yolk, flour, baking soda, vanilla, milk, and chocolate chips. First, we're gonna place the butter in a saucepan. We're gonna wanna melt it. Make sure to cool it down after it's melted so it's not too hot in the dough. Place the egg and egg yolk in a cup, the milk, some of the vanilla, and make sure to whisk it well. And set that aside for now. So now we have the flour, we place the baking soda in it. We add a little bit of salt. And in another bigger bowl, we're going to sift that same mixture in. Make sure you give it a stir first so that you mix the baking soda and salt in. set that aside for now. So in your standing mixer, I use the paddle attachment. Okay, that's working. So we put in the somewhat cooled down butter and we place in the sugar because sugar is a wet ingredient and it mixes really well. Or it's treated like a wet ingredient. at a somewhat low speed so that you don't get everything on yourself. And then after it's turned into some of a paste, you add the egg mixture very slowly. Done. Mix it a little longer. So I put it on the lowest setting and I spoon in the flour one spoon at a time so that you don't get the flour all over yourself and so that it doesn't make the machine work too hard and have a hard time making the flour. So you can just go at a rhythmic pace, just one spoon like every 10 to 15 seconds. So once that's done, uh, just make sure to clean up the bowl for all the unmixed flour, especially on top of the paddle. Go around the sides of the bowl. And mix it some more just to make sure it's all incorporated. Next we add in the chocolate chips. I like to try to get around the bowl so that chips will, uh, get all over the dough. So I use a spatula to just clean up the dough and you know maybe sample it a little bit. It's actually quite good. And what I do is I place a cling wrap loosely or on top just to prevent it from drying out too much. And we're going to refrigerate this dough for about half an hour. And I'm using a 24 size uh, disher. Uh, the recommended would be 20 because I tend to have a hard time reaching the the two dozen number unless I really compact it and uh, compact the dough into the disher. 
So you take your disher and you know, I like to flatten it just loosely around the side of the dough and scoop it in gently onto the onto the baking tray. On the baking tray, I'm not using wax paper. I'm actually using this um, this cooking pa uh, cooking paper or baking paper, which is made out of silicone, so that it doesn't have the waxy taste. And the good part about it is when you use because if you use wax paper, it tends to stick to the pan because it gets stuck. So with the silicone, you can actually reuse it for multiple batches. So we bake it for about 12 minutes, um, uh, 15 minutes, sorry. And then halfway through, I like to turn it around just to get even cooking. So when I pull it out, usually you have to judge by how hot your oven is. And sometimes the cookies might be a little too soft to handle. So if it's too soft, give it about two minutes on the tray and it will it'll harden. Even though it looks too soft, trust me, it will harden a bit. And if you see like uh, brown specks around the edges, the cookies are pretty much done. Because if it's too brown, it's going to continue cooking later. Like I said, uh, you know, cookies will harden after, even after it's taken out of the oven. So I'm just transferring it here to a baking, uh, cool, a cooling tray. Whoops! It's still too hot to handle at this point. So these weren't too soft yet. So at least they, I was able to take them off the tray. And while they were the first batch was in the oven, I actually went ahead and scooped it and left it in the refrigerator. And so when the first tray, a uh, first batch came out, I just transferred the cook the cookies into the tray, and then used that same tray in the oven. So I came out with about ten pieces in this next one, not twelve. So overall, about twenty-two cookies. So these were actually really good, uh, perfect with a glass of milk.